Hello. Oh. We hope you had a great week. Today is a special day. It's Chinese New Year and it's the Year of the Ox. So Happy New Year. But it's also Valentine's Day. Did you get any Valentine's Day cards? I got lots, yes. Did you? Oh yes, I did. Oh wow, who from? Well, I don't, obviously they're anonymous, but I got one from someone who loves me so much they want to double glaze my house. Really? And, and another one from someone who loves me so much they want to repave my drive. <laughs> oh dear. Oh bless you. Um, so, <laughs> so you got no Valentine's Day cards then? Well, I think they were Valentine's Day cards. Okay, all right. Happy Valentine's Day, Obadiah. And, and to you, Hannah. Yes. Anyway, today we are going to tell the story of a miracle. A what? A miracle. Oh, is that one of those things that people see in the desert? No, Obadiah, you're thinking of a mirage. Oh, a mir mirage. What's uh, the, what you said then? A miracle. Yes, one of them. What is it? Um, a miracle is something that happens that would normally be impossible. Jesus did some amazing things like um, walking on water and feeding huge crowds of people. We're going to talk about that next week. And um, healing people. Healing people? You know, like making people who were sick better and making blind people see and even bringing people who had died back to life. Oh. And this is a story from John's Gospel about when Jesus healed a man who couldn't walk for more than 30 years. I, I don't think I could walk for 30 years. I get tired after 10 minutes. <laughs> no, I mean more than 30 years he hadn't been able to walk. Oh, I see. And um, in those days, people with disabilities didn't get as much help as they do now. Though the man didn't have a wheelchair or a carer to help him get around. Oh dear, poor old... Oh, what, what, what was his name? What was the man's name? Well, we don't actually know what his name was. Um, perhaps we could give him a name. Um, what do you think? That's a good idea. What about Obadiah? That's a good name. <laughs> it's a lovely name, but it might get a tad confusing. Can we give him a name that isn't the same as your name? Oh, I suppose so. What about Joe? Maybe. It could be short for Joe Badaya. How about something completely different? Um, like um, Matthew. Oh, all right. He could be Matt for short. Um, okay. Um, well, I'm not sure. Um, let's try that. Let's let's um, let's see how we get on. Here we go. There was a man called um, Matt in a place called Bethesda. There was a natural pool of water. People had made covered areas all round it so people could sit and be sheltered from the sun. People believed that the pool had healing powers. If you went into the water, it could cure all kinds of illnesses. Every day, Matt sat in the shelter near the pool, hoping to get a chance to go into the water. What did he sit on? Well, a mat. Oh. Yes, um, anyway, one day, Jesus came to Bethesda. Hello, I'm Jesus. What's your name? Oh, uh, hello, Jesus. I'm, I'm Matt. And what's that you're sitting on? Uh, that is my mat. Your mat? Yes, I am. No, no. Um, I mean, that's your mat. Ah, yes, yes, it is. Yes. So, your mat. And that's your mat. Yes. Doesn't that get a bit confusing? Sometimes. 
But on the positive side, it's not so many things to remember. Guess what my favourite type of paint is? Oh, uh, is it, um... It's gloss. Oh. Which you see is it's just one more thing to remember. Life would be so much easier if it was matte. Oh. Um, why are you sitting on that mat, Matt? You see, Jesus, I can't walk. I haven't been able to walk for years. Since before you were born, probably. Ah, uh, well, actually, I was born quite improbably. Oh, were you? Yeah, yeah. Well, they, that's a story for another time. Oh, OK. Um, yeah. Um, but why do you sit by this pool on your mat, Matt? Well, if I could get into the pool, maybe I could be healed. Maybe I could walk again. Uh, so why don't you get into the pool? I can't walk. Oh, I think I see your problem. Really? What is it? Well, well, you need to get into the pool so you can be healed and you can walk, but you can't get into the pool because you can't walk. My word! I think you're right. Matt, I think I can help. Really? How? Pick up your mat, Matt. What? Pick up your mat and walk. Oh my goodness! Oh, I can walk! I can... I can walk! Thank, thank you! Where's he gone? Where's he, where is he? Where's he gone? Jesus had slipped away into the crowd. But later, when some of the Jewish religious leaders asked Matt who had healed him, he was able to point Jesus out to them. I expect they wanted to thank him too. Uh, no, they didn't, sadly. Why not? Well, you see, Jesus has healed Matt on the Sabbath. I thought he was on a mat. <laughs> no, that Sabbath was the seventh day of the week when people rested and didn't do any work. You mean Sunday? Well, like Sunday, but the Jewish Sabbath is actually from sunset on Friday until sunset on Saturday. Oh. So the rules about not working on the Sabbath were very, very strict. The religious leaders didn't think Jesus should have healed Matt on the Sabbath. They didn't even think Matt should have picked up his mat and carried it on the Sabbath. Even today, some Jewish people follow very strict rules like that. So, for example, they wouldn't turn on a light switch on the Sabbath. Goodness! So, some of these men, the religious teachers, confronted Jesus. They asked him why he had done what he did. What did he say? He said... My father never stops working, so I'm always working too. What did he mean? Well, when he talked about his father, Jesus meant God. Is God always working? What does he do? <laughs> That's a really big question, and I haven't got a simple answer for it. But I think I believe that God watches over us and loves us all the time. And Jesus was showing that he loved Matt, no matter what day of the week it was. Oh. Should we have a song? Oh, yes.
around the world There's only one creator All the languages uh, We're talking in French, Spanish, Greek to Mandarin Solo hay un creator So clap your hands and say Shout out and worship him So clap your hands and say And let the praise be given oh, wow. Upon the earth you made oh, wow, oh, wow. You died and now we can be saved oh, wow, oh, wow. You rose and left an empty grave oh, wow, oh, wow. And one day you're coming back again Oh wow, what a God Oh wow, what a God There's no one like you There'll never be another Awesome! That is one of my favourite songs, and I know some people are getting fed up of it, but I can assure you, our young people aren't. So, I like that one. I know you do. I know I you do. do. Did you like our story? Well, I did, but, well, you know how Jesus made Matt better? Yeah. Well, when I hurt my wing, God didn't make it better. He doesn't always make everything better, does he? Well, no, but we have doctors, don't we? Well, you have doctors, I have a vet. <laughs> yeah, true. True. No, I guess, I guess, you know, miracles are, you know, strange things, aren't they? Well, that's kind of the point of them, isn't it? Well, yes. And miracles don't happen all the time, or they wouldn't be miracles. Well, that makes sense. You know, God is watching over us all the time. Just because we can't always see it, Obadiah, it doesn't mean that it's not happening. Well, but how do we know, then? Well, I think you have to have something called faith. Well, I've got a faith. I wash it every morning. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, you don't have a face anyway, you have a beak. Um, anyway, so... <laughs> stop looking at me. So stop looking at me like that. But, you know, sometimes we just have to trust these things. You trust that the sun is going to rise every morning, don't you? I, well, I do. And yeah. we know that because science tells us that the Earth is going round the sun every day. Yes. Yeah. Well, sometimes we just have to trust that God is looking after us. Jesus told us that God was working all the time by looking after us, didn't he? Yes, in the story he said that. Yes. Well, exactly. So perhaps we just need to trust that. Oh. Yeah. And that's what having faith is. We don't have all the answers. But oh. we just have to trust that God loves us. I see. So, and that's hard. It's not an easy thing to do. Is it? No. No, it's not. Not but, easy. But it's something we can work on. And we can work on it together. Yes, we can. Shall we pray? Oh, yes. Lord God, we thank you that you do love us and we thank you that you love us every day whether 
we are aware of it or not. Sometimes it's easy to feel your love, but sometimes it's really, really hard. And Lord, we just ask that you help us to be aware of your presence. And we ask that you help us to work together to be aware of your presence. In your name. Amen. Amen. So, we will see you next week when we're looking at another of Jesus' miracles. Um, and on Tuesday, it is Pancake Day. Some of us are very, very excited about Pancake Day. Are you excited about Pancake Day? Oh, yes, I love pancakes. Are you cooking them then? Oh, well, I, I would do, but I got in a bit of trouble last time. Oh, no. Well, I tried to toss a pancake and I'll, I'll let go of the pan. Okay. It's a good thing that mysterious person wants to redo my double glazing. <laughs> a year later. Um, anyway, so yes, enjoy pancakes, but we will see you next Sunday anyway. Take care. Bye. Bye.